Well, I'd like to, to start with talking about interest rates. We uh, haven't had a chance to talk about those in, in a little while, and I think as of the quarterly report, we were saying that expectations were that interest rate cuts would finally start coming potentially, and that's after a couple of years of, as many investors know, rapidly rising interest rates to fight inflation. Since May and into early June, we've had rate cuts um, in many major markets around the world. It started in Switzerland, uh, Sweden has cut. Most recently, the European Central Bank and the Bank of Canada have begun cutting interest rates sort of by small amounts from relatively high levels. But important to note that that, that cycle has, has started. Now, what we're dealing with, though, in the world economy at the moment is a bit of a two-speed thing with growth, where the U.S. economy is growing faster uh, than many other economies. So the U.S. Fed is another central bank that matters possibly most. And they have not cut yet and are not expected to do so until later this year, September, October, November. As many people know, there's a U.S. election coming that time. So we'll see what uh, what happens as well in terms of whether a cut actually actually comes. But for now, you still got interest rates that are pretty high all around the world. Cuts have started and that's all things being equal going to be um, positive for for equities. The question going forward, though, is how much interest rates get cut and why. And I'd suggest we're at maybe a bit of an inflection point here where if they get cut too fast, it's going to be because the economies are weakening. Flip it the other way, if economies stay stronger, it's going to mean the rate cuts aren't going to come as fast. So I think we're at a point here now where it's nice the rate cuts have started to come, but we need to be careful of what expectations have been baked into the cake already. And I suspect we're going to see some choppy markets, some up and down over the next uh, next few to several months. So our strategy here through this time, and our strategy is consistent, doesn't really change, but we're expecting opportunities here to put money to work in good, high quality comp- companies at good prices as the prices chop around. And we've had one of those opportunities in the last couple of weeks. So we put some money to work in the U.S. market and in, um, in some emerging markets. In terms of uh, the regional um, Caribbean equity markets, one thing that's gone on in the last couple of weeks that has been hanging around for several weeks has been the additional public offering. So secondary uh, equity market capital raise from one of the major financial institutions, NCB, in Jamaica. That got completed last Friday. Uh, They got about half the amount that they wanted to get, so not entirely successful issue. But one of the things that happens with financial institutions when interest rates rise, the value of their bond portfolios decline. And here we have on our very doorstep one of the implications of that, where NCB is certainly not alone, but Higher interest rates mean lower portfolio prices for bonds, or portfolio values for bond bond portfolios. And uh, here they're looking to raise some capital to shore things up. So it's one of the things that's been hanging around a little while, and they, they got that done. In terms of an outlook, I'd suspect that we're still going to see fairly heavy markets in the Caribbean. And then that's sort of aforementioned chop in the global markets. And we here at Fortress will be taking every opportunity to chip away at the the good companies we're following if their prices uh, do dip in the next few months. This is a lot of context about what's going on with things you might read about and hear about. Um, But really, from an investment point of view, day to day, it doesn't change. Um, There's going to be good things to invest in. We're doing it. No special action required. We're just offering these thoughts in terms of how to interpret what we're all reading as we go about our lives.